isolate. I know you isolated yourself for the Lost City of Z. Did you do that with this too? Like you? I did as much as I could. I honestly, I didn't feel comfortable asking my girlfriend to um, to, to sanction that again, and so uh, I kept in contact with her uh, much better. But I mean, it's just like I think it's. Not, I'm not unique in in sort of isolating myself. It's just sort of by virtue of going to a different place where you don't live, you know, time zone being eight hours different, you're working 14, 15, 16 hours a day, it's really just not even time to like keep up with anyone. So, but I, I had like some fun with Rami and like had some fun with the actors this time, whereas like last time I just was like totally by myself, you know, so. I'm assuming, I've just heard that your body has been kind of tortured in this movie. Did you, what was that experience like for you? Because you have to lose a lot of weight, right? Yeah, it was really tough for me because, um, <laughs> Uh, because I had just done it once before. I had, uh, right after I did King Arthur, I did a film called The Lost City of Zed with um, with James Gray, and I had to lose um, about 40, uh, like 42 pounds I lost for that movie. And then I put some of them way back on, and then I went into this film, and I had to get back down to 145 pounds again for it, or at least that's what I wanted to try to do. So that's what was possible from my experience from the, doing the other movie. And it was just my body didn't want to do it this time. Like, so much more difficult to lose the weight this time. I don't know why. I did everything exactly the same, but my body didn't want to do it. And so by the end of it, for the last 10 days, I didn't eat at all. I just didn't eat for 10 days. Uh, I didn't drink any water. and. I didn't leave the prison. Like it, things got a bit weird at the end of this. I gotta say, but it was, you know, it was an interesting experience. So fuck it, you know. Um, I can't, I can't do, I can't do it again. I'm not gonna lose weight like that again. It's funny as a, a filmmaker. Right as I finish this, as a filmmaker that I grew up with, that I love, like love this guy, and he offered me the lead in his film that takes place in the beginning of the IRA hunger strikes. And I would have had to like lose all that weight again. And I just, I, as much as I desperately wanted to do the film, I just, I can't do it, you know? So. But then you go into a dark place as well, mentally. Do you, does that affect you? I mean, do, does it make you depressed when you do yeah. these kind of roles? Yeah, it does. I mean, it really does. I, I, uh, I couldn't go home when I finished. Like I just, the, it was the, you'll see if you see the film, there's a, um, a sequence in the film that's 18 minutes long that's um, silent and it's just me and solitary. And that was the thing that we did at the very end. And I just stayed in there by myself and never left the room and chain smoked cigarettes and didn't eat for like that eight or like nine, 10 days. And, uh, and by the end of that, I wasn't in a good place. And so I was supposed to go home to see uh, my girl and uh, I had to go home, back to England instead. I checked into a hotel for three days and tried to get my shit together and then went and saw my mom for a couple of days and then I was ready to go home. But yeah, I was a little scrambled in the head by the end of it. I couldn't eat, I couldn't start eating. That was the problem. Like I, like I'd become so obsessed with losing the weight and like, like, uh, so ingrained in the day-to-day -day struggle to like conquer my body's hunger that like I like I got like a wall against it and found it was a weird thing to start eating again so anyway whatever I don't know we're talking about this way too much I'm I'm a little jet lagged and tired now so when you watch yourself in in, in this and you remember the suffering what is that what is that about is going back to that place again or are you just like no yourself? no I just look at it and I just think that sequence in the film is um, thankfully one of the favorite, my favorite sequences that I've ever been in, in a film. And so I looked at it and I was like, well, at least, at least the sequence looks good. I mean, I remembered it was horrible. And I looked over and it's so funny, you know, I, I always used to have to watch these films alone first time, like I saw a performance or a film. And now my like girlfriend's become so deeply ingrained in my process and like my partner that I always take her. And I looked over like two or three minutes into this um, solitary sequence and she was crying, you know? And I was like, whoa. Yeah, she like, and I didn't say anything. There's nothing going on. There's no reason to cry, but she just knows me so well that she could like feel how like unhappy I was or something. So, yeah. They're all screaming and breathing. I know, I'm sorry. It's a bit, it's hard. It's hard well, to nice stay to focused. I'm so excited to see you. Oh, thank you very much. Nice Hi there, thanks for watching my interview. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please share, like, subscribe, comment below if you have anything you want to share with me or with other people here on YouTube. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye, take care.